All right. Let's get munching. I think... You know, it's interesting. I haven't actually played a whole lot of open world anythings recently. Uh, so I can't get this easily. Easily. Except for the, this weird undiscovered thing and look around for a little while. Uh, let's see, for those of you just joining us for the stream, I've already started playing this game a little bit. There is one episode on YouTube if you, if you want to catch up. A uh, quick summary of the plot is, uh, you start the game as a tutorial, you're a big shark swimming around in the ocean, uh, you start killing a boatload of people, multiple boatloads of people, really, and then this uh, shark hunter guy, you try and get him, but he harpoons you in the face, killing you instantly, uh, switches to his perspective, he's filming a show called, like, Shark Hunter or something like that, and, uh, he is effectively just, you know, hunting every every shark he can as some kind of not Crocodile Dundee, because I'd say Crocodile Dundee and uh, oh, what's his face? What is what is the guy? Steve Irwin. There we go. They would hunt them non-lethally. This guy, this guy is kind of one of those maniacs. Is like I love hunting sharks. Uh. Cuts a baby shark out of the dead shark. Uh, scars it. If you notice, we've got uh, cuts along our, our fin and side. And then is going to throw it into the ocean so you can hunt it later. But uh, we bite the hand off. Then he chucks us in the ocean anyway. We eat the hand. And then we're just kind of loose to do whatever the heck we want. This is absolutely not the kind of game that I would recommend to people that are uh, squeamish. But from my perspective... It's pretty fun. We're also a big, angry, angry shark. All right. So where was I going? Ah, I was going up here. There's a nutrient cache in this immediate area. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. Okay. So the structure of this game is pretty basic. You got a big old open world. Actually, not big. It's pretty small, actually. Uh, and just like a bunch of random objectives on it. Mostly fight boss, eat things, gather resources, mutate. Eventually we can get like electricity and some other stuff because why the heck not? And that's about it. Oh. Hunted alligator. Whoa! Okay. Now oh, that ain't gonna work. Alright, I gotta grab some catfish. At least I've got some spare HP. Whoa! make up for it, but, uh, that's a tough gator. Alright, there we go. There's our opening. Unfortunately, we're picking up a number of smaller predators, which are kind of also going to be harassing me here. I'm less than happy about it. Dang it. I'm trying to keep my distance so I can... You effectively dodge counter him into oblivion. There we go. Dang it. I want to get the little guy. There we go. Easy snack. But we gotta find somebody worth eating. Get my HP back. Otherwise, this alligator's gonna crump, chomp me. And he's just lost interest? Ow. 
Dang it. I wish this guy... Whoops. Ow. That's frustrating. No, that's another alligator there. I'm gonna just ping, keep my distance, go for the grouper. Yeah, we keep picking up the, uh... The little predators that... They're honestly nothing. Like, they're zero threat to me, for the most part. But they're annoying. And they will keep coming for me. I guess we should go back to the grotto. There we go. So where's this guy? And has he healed? Hopefully he hasn't. There's always a bigger fish. I'm working on being the bigger fish. That takes some effort. But yeah, I feel like after a certain point, these uh, muscalinges should absolutely just peace out. Just leave you alone. Okay. We're still good. Okay, there we go. Whoop. One problem I have, oddly enough, is actually really difficult to dive in this game. Nope. If it makes you Dang feel it. better, I ate the heck out of some crockpot alligator well, killed bossa bites earlier. The freaking alligators are tough. They're hard to fight. I got the pattern kind of down, but the bigger they are, the, the harder they are to stun. Well, allows the bull to survive in fresh water. The plus shark side, now a team, and we should We are bigger now. On we and poor decision making. Uh, so we got breach lunge, air lunge, and lung capacity. Pretty sure there's no other... Yeah, I don't have any other things that I can level up. Well. I guess I'm going to leave the alligator alone for a little while. Let's find something else to do that isn't as hard as that. Keep going for those. How to like the game so far. It's a little clunkier than I was hoping it would be. Like I said, it's actually really hard to like do quick maneuvering sometimes. Uh, come on. There we go. A lock-on would be really handy. So you could swim away from something, swim down. Well, I get a bunch of snacks. There we go. Well, that was a little easier. Pretty sure this is not the right direction. Okay, it's on the other side of this. Oh, there's another one right here. It looks fun, though. It, it is. I was just... I was hoping for a little bit more... I'm trying to think of a good example. No. These guys just keep coming after me. Oh, that's... That's a not much. Where are we going? In through here? Oh, that's a valid path? I guess it is. Probably why I haven't found it yet. Yeah, Shark Souls. Dude. I, maybe that's it, that I'm just so spoiled. Is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. Uh, let's see. We got that. Uh, let's go after that thing. Hopefully that will be considerably less fatal. I guess let's hit the land landmark real quick. I'm, I'm going to be kind of aggressive about finding all of these landmarks and associated other things. 
Oh, these are just the signs that I break. A clock would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. Okay, so we still got all of our stuff. Let's oh, that's that's another crocodile and an alligator. Wait, do they usually exist kind of in the same immediate environment? I don't think so. Okay, let's let's take the quick path. Grab some munches, but we want to head over here. I don't know why I can break this raft. I can. It doesn't really seem to net me much of anything, but I can. I see. Wonder if you tried playing this with keyboard and mouse. I haven't. Maybe I should. My main issue with playing it this keyboard and mouse is I really like being comfy right now. I've got a very nice couch. And I've been sitting in a computer chair for like far too long over the past couple weeks. And so I this shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Let's see. I, I don't know. I just want to sit in the couch. It would probably would change some of the issues. Or it, it would probably solve some of my immediate issues, but probably introduce new ones as well. So I don't think it would actually help as much as I'd like. Right. So there's something in here. There is something in there, for later. We shark can jump. Yeah, I can. Free turtle. All right, what else do we got around here? I guess let's go for this thing. I'm hoping we can get some fun, some fun special abilities sooner than later. Because the sooner I get like. I don't know, poison, the sooner we can really abuse an alligator. Uh, this channel's been very vor heavy lately. I, I'd say I apologize, but I don't. Vor is a legitimate strategy, and you, you, no one can tell me otherwise. But it is not art. There we go. Alright, so what do we got back here? I'm supposed to hunt something. Midwest Zest, there you are. Oh, this is an easy one. There we go. Got it with a stun. Got it with a munch. We are big. We got any new features or no? Nope, no new features. All right, let's leave the alligator alone for a little while. Do we want to go keep going for the muscle lunges? Probably. What else do we even have? So I don't really want to... Oh, you can actually see how much progress I've made in the area. leave that alligator alone just for a bit longer maybe now that I'm a teen shark it's not so bad man's tendency to anthropomorphize them into lovable cartoon characters belies the fact that sea turtles are ornery creatures that can bite through bone huh I actually didn't know that we should probably spend more of our time actually looking out above the bayou. This is much harder na to navigate. I don't know, it's hard in both regards. Okay, there's an alligator. It's not one of the hard ones.
Okay. So that didn't work. Ooh. Something cool there. Come on. Keep coming for me, boyo. There we go. Whoa! I did a alligator spin there. That was a good one. All right, where's the, there's the meat chunks. Yum. All right, so I gotta be an adult to get in there. Mm. 18 and up. Let's see, does this game have sub subtitles? It does. I turned them on earlier, but I guess they didn't take. All right, there we go. You will be able to unlock an eye patch for the shark. Why would you want an eye patch on a shark? Possibly. I'm just going to run around munching everything. Excuse me, sir. Have you heard have you heard the good word of my lord and savior, teeth and munching? Have you heard the good word of vor? There we go. Doesn't seem like I've got much here. We've got grates for adults that we can't get into. Ooh, and use the landmark. I'm just gonna run around beating things up. I, this is the kind of open world game that I like. Where it's just like, here's a bunch of objectives, just go. Okay, supposedly there's a nutrient cache in here. There it is. Luckily, those are just marked on the map, which is real nice. In a shark stomach, it's truly the ocean's garbage can. Oh, can I get through this one? Hey, I can. Where does this lead me? Oh, new location with third cave feminism. Lower concentration of arsenic and fecal coliform. Dead Horses Grotto is a great place to take a break and evolve. Oh, maybe. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep filling out this area of the map first though. I know eventually we we also get fast travel, which is quite nice, but Is it me or is that really deep? Maybe it is? It does look stupid deep compared to what I'm dealing with. Okay, so what have we what have we got in here? This seems real shallow for a shark. Alright, so there's a grape for an adult to go deeper. I'm sorry, what the hell? I feel like I'm gonna need straight up lungs to get in there. Alright, scratch that. What else have we got around here? Hey, do I wanna go for the crocodile? Nah, let's go back here. the street shark and I have to fight a jet. I, look, if this has like a street shark evolution, I will be so happy. I used to watch the shit out of that show when I was young. But it's pitiless and cruel malignity is just a mirror for our own. I don't know about you guys. I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but some of the knockoffs were like actually just really good. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go around eating some catfish. They're decent EXP. Though it's dropping off kind of fast. I love, uh, love these lines. Is that... Yeah. The narrator is... Gosh, who is he? I remember the name. I don't remember it well. What the hell is going on with this location? Ow. Okay, don't go into the giant vortex of death and pain. Is it the, uh... It's one of the guys from Rick and Morty, I think, was the... Let's see who it was. Check out the neighborhood. I'll check it out as we go by. I kind of wanted to get here, because that's where our next, uh... That's where our next checkpoint is. Because this will let me, uh... This will let me actually fast travel from one location to the next. How much is this behind YouTube? Barely any. I've just mostly been wandering around eating things. This is the dad from Rick and Morty. Jerry? Yeah, his name is Jerry. Never seen any Rick and Morty. I should probably someday, but I don't know. Too many people liked it, and that kind of ruined it for me. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. A lot of trash up in here. Alright, so what do we got? Destroy a target, kill ten groupers, consume ten humans. Hey, let's start, let's work our way up. Actually, let's see what's closest. Go back this way, plus we've got some other things around. What's the... There's apparently a landmark on the right side here. Ah, there it is. The artist spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. Caution, nuclear fallout. Oh, wow. Okay, it's going to be... Well, yum. Oh, well, I was going to get that cat catfish, but I guess not. So where's these groupers? Oh, wow. Apparently, I missed a lot of th these things up in here. Oh, these are all catfishes. This didn't work. Okay. So, turns out we actually have to go down through something. To get to those guys. Well, first I should probably eat some catfish. Because the alternative is bad. What are you? Oh, it's a barracuda. There we go. Excuse me, sir. You've become snack time? Albino catfish. Oh, that looks apropos. There we go. Let's go find some groupers up in here. This seems like the right spot. Yep, this is the right spot. Sub chumps. Uh, 
I see. Catfish have specialized taste buds all over their bodies, so they know that you're the one that peed in the water. Okay. So these guys are a problem. Nope, didn't get him. Let's see if I can get him. Got him. Death spiral. Yes. That's what I get for intruding on your cave. Alligator nuggets. Excuse me, sir. You need to give me some space so that I may munch you. No. Nope, that didn't work. I really want to use the tail whack, but it, it's, the tail whack does not not work the greatest. We have just consumed leg, but now I am bully bullying the alligator. Yeah. All right, where's those nuggets? There's the nuggets. Hmm. So the rest of this place kind of sucks. Where's these? Where are the groupers? Wait, the groupers went back. Oh, I see. I need to, like, leave the area for a bit for them to respawn. Okay, there you are. Give me. Give me your morsels. And can we get the rest of these? No, they just kind of disappear. So here's the question. What else is down here? More groupers, for sure. I a lot of stuff. We're playing a game with swimming and not having to worry about oxygen. I... There are not a lot of games where you just don't have to worry about oxygen. The shark's black alien eye is firmly fixed on her brain. Okay, we found the... Oops. That's not the target. Uh, it needs a lock on. It it has focus target, but focus target does not work. It kind of works. That bath spinning. What was the thing? Was it orcas? Right. That's what it is. Sharks are freaking afraid of orcas. There we go. It's reading... What? What? Where'd you come from? Why are there respawning? Ah. The ocean nope. remains a brutal kill or be killed world. Damn. Ah. Uh, ah. Huh. Technically, you don't have to worry about oxygen. You just not when swimming. Yeah. The problem is the bar barracuda and shark just kind of came out of nowhere and was like, "Hello, 